Next question, the member for Chatham Kent Leamington. Uh, thank you very much, Speaker. Uh, through you, Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Children, Community and Social Services. Minister, because of COVID, lockdowns, and rising costs in food, internet, electricity, accommodation, my offices have been inundated with calls from desperate ODSP recipients. These recipients just don't know where to turn. As you know, a single person's maximum allowance for basic needs and shelter is $1,169 per month, while the maximum allowable for a couple's basic needs and shelter is $1,750 per month. But the ODSP recipients have not had increases in years. The ministry is simply saying at this point in time they are in transition and are working on this. Well, there has not been a cost of living increase and the rate of inflation is rising quickly. It's more important, or more, rather, it's more expensive to shop, let alone live on the bare minimum called basic needs, which does not cover their biggest single bill, rising housing rents. So, Minister, what is your ministry prepared to do now in the short term to provide for ODSP recipients? My riding constituents, more than ever, now must choose between shelter, heat, or... Thank you. Minister of Children, Community and Social Services. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the member opposite uh, for the question. You know, in addition to raising the rates when we uh, first took office in 2018, and in addition to the $1 billion in social services relief funding and the $8.3 billion we spend approximately annually, uh, I've also been advocating uh, for the uh, federal government to come to the table to fulfill its, its campaign promise uh, that it made to create a Canada disability benefit. You know, we know how important this is uh, to uh, individuals who have lost their job or who are unable to work. And that's why I did meet with my federal counterpart, uh, Karina Gould. Uh, we urged the government, the federal government, to move quickly on delivering a national disability benefit. We're going to continue to work with the federal government to deliver positive results for Ontario's disabled community. And we're going to continue to find ways to create Response. sustainability in this. And this is a multi-ministry effort. And I will uh, deal with that in my supplementary.